Hello everyone, how are we today? I'm doing pretty good. New hair, do you like it? Got it cut? Got some colour in? I look a bit more, you know, acceptable in society now because my roots went down to here. Um, today I thought I'd share with you my summer foundation routine. This has been my absolute go-to makeup every day and I've absolutely been loving it. Perfect for summer, stays put all day, it's got your sun protection in there, wonderful. So what I've been using is my Dior Nude Skin, Dior Skin Nude BB Cream. This is, I'm sure you've all heard about this, this is phenomenal. What I love about this is that it's your skincare as well as your base. So I don't have to faff around with moisturizer. I just have a real issue with that and waiting for it to settle in and all of that. I literally just wash my face, put on a serum, and then I, this is my moisturizer and foundation. Now this only has an SPF 10. So and it's a bit of an interesting BB cream because you'd think you should have a bit more of an SPF, but SPF 10 is not gonna protect you against anything, but you'll see what I do later. So, I've got the shade 002, which is the second one, there's three. Um, the first one's really, really pale. This one's a little dark for me, but that doesn't matter because what I put on top is a little bit lighter, so I kind of balance stuff out. Right, so I'm gonna do like two pumps, like that. And just massage onto my face. You can see the coverage of this is actually absolutely wonderful. It smells divine. You know, it smells like flowery and it feels fresh on the skin. Really fresh on the skin. Um, and it gives, it says glowing makeup, so it kind of gives you a glow but it's not shiny. You know what I mean? It's just, see it kind of goes a little bit matte. Actually, it's not a bad color. It kind of gets, you know, like it sticks in. It doesn't stay wet on the face like some things do. Ah, oh, it smells like flowers. It smells like a, a garden. It's really nice to wake up to this. So that's all over my face. Usually I'll take like a neck cream and then I'll put the rest on my neck, but you know. Okay, now remember I was complaining about my Bobbi Brown concealer. It creases, it creases. Yes, it does, but MAC Pro Longwear does not crease. It does not crease at all. This is my favorite, favorite concealer for under my eyes. I will use it forevermore because it's the only thing that works and I don't care that it pumps out too much because I like to use it over my eyes as a base as well. So I pump out bing, about that much. I take my damp beauty blender because that's the best way to apply it and just start under my eye like that. I mean the coverage of this is beautiful. It dries to a matte finish. Okay, and honestly, honestly, it does not crease. And that's what I love about it. I just want something under my eyes that's not gonna crease. That's, is that too much to ask? No. So after that, you know, I've had that one pump, I've put that under my eyes. I then go, because there's still some in the sponge, I then go over my eye, basically all around my eye, inside the eye here, the corner, always get that corner because I've got quite veiny lids, so I like to cover this all up and it just gives you a nice, bright, clean eye. It gives you a lovely base. You don't have to faff around with another, with an eye primer or a base or anything like that because this works as your eye primer. That's all over like that. Wonderful. I tend to, I tend to bring it down like, like this into a V. Next eye. Go all over into the corner. Make sure you get right under that brow. Right into the corners of the eye here. You don't want to miss anything there because those corners can be quite dark. And that's really it. And that's, actually that's one pump of the concealer. So really, it's, it's, 
the perfect amount if you ask me and if I do pump out too much I'll put it down the center of my nose or chin or something like that always check you haven't got one of those lines makeup lineys okay so BB cream done eyes are primed now for the pièce de résistance Bare Minerals Ready Foundation SPF 20 now this over a BB cream is phenomenal now I did a tutorial just using this and the precision brush before and someone said oh it looks cakey it doesn't look cakey it's a matte finish but that's my opinion and that's your opinion but if you don't if you think it looks cakey you think it's too powdery or this and that try it over a BB cream it works wonders over a BB cream I have been loving this combination so much and this is a foundation so you've got even more coverage which is even better and your SPF 20 to protect you on those sunny days so what I do is I take my kabuki brush and you tap you don't swirl and buff remember so you just tap that in like that and then what I do is I start on the side and I just tap onto my face I don't do that yet because in case the BB cream is maybe, maybe a bit wet. So I just tap on. Once I feel that it's dry, I can then go over like this. I can then do that. But while it's still wet, I literally just like to tap on. And when I do this in the morning, I can do this so fast. Tap on all over. I've got this in the shade uh, medium beige Q70 I think um, and I'm normally a fairly light in the matte. Forehead down the centre of the nose. I think you know during some months mineral makeup is the best kind of makeup because for me it just sticks to your skin it, it, it just doesn't melt whereas liquids kind of can just melt away mineral makeup doesn't it, it sticks to the skin and I've used it for years and loved it you know I've gone through absolute pots of bare minerals um, matte foundation because you know it just works and I use it in the evenings as well and I don't get flashback or anything I wouldn't use this in the evenings because it's got an SPF 20 okay so I've put that all on you can you can go over with how much you know however much you want if you need more coverage and things like that that's fine but it just over this BB cream it's the most um, magical thing in the world and I absolutely I love it I, I enjoy using it I oh my gosh isn't that what it's all about enjoying okay Onto my Kevin Aquan or Kevin Aquan sculpting powder and medium. I was struggling to use this. I was like, how on earth do I get this to look right? It all comes down to playing around with different brushes and different techniques. So the brush I like using is this. It's very light, it's very thin, it doesn't put too much on. I just tap it into the product like that and just do a fish face this face on earth so I need a bit of sculpting okay I actually on most days will put this just through my crease just to give me a bit more definition and down the size of my nose because I like to I think you know we're all very um we're all I'm kind of new with the um, sculpting and shading and I think it just takes practice to be honest and different tools and techniques to see what you like and what suits you and your your hand strength because <laughs> I'm very heavy-handed right so normally I'm like Ooh! so that's why I need the lightest brush so even with my big heavy hands I can do a light sweep of it then on for blush I'm using Bare Minerals Aphrodisiac which is this beautiful beautiful peachy colour absolutely gorge aroma and I just take one of the Bare Minerals brushes 
even just sweep onto my cheeks for a lovely peachy glow. Mm. This is actually um, one of their best sellers, the um, aphrodisiac. I love how that looks, that looks gorgeous. Then, to completely set my makeup, I use the mineral veil because this will keep your makeup on all day. It does, I mean, you know, it really does. And that's what I like to do. Finish it off with this. But I don't know, there's something about Mineral Veil that just gives the most amazing, like your pores will disappear. They will absolutely disappear. So that's my Mineral Veil. And then I like to finish with Fix Plus for some extra dewiness and an extra hold. Ah, oh, okay. And that's my summertime foundation routine or makeup routine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, let me know. If you want me to go in depth on any particular product, do let me know and I'll be happy to talk about them. Okay, thanks very much. See you soon. Bye.